Hey, what's going on? It's uh, Nathan here. Um, listen, I just wanted to get on here and uh, make a video, a real quick video, just about what we experienced last week. What's crazy right now is that it's like 70 degrees where we are. Um, no snow in sight. It's beautiful outside. Um, but last week, uh, I think uh, what we dealt with here in Texas was something that was really, if, if I'm honest with you, if, you, if you're honest with me, was unexpected. Nobody really expected uh, to deal with what we dealt with last week. You know, I know my family in Austin didn't. Uh, my parents went without power for a couple of days. And, uh, you know, thankfully we had power, but we lost uh, uh, water pressure. Um, and, you know, when it was raining down here, uh, I did something that was completely unexpected because we didn't have water. Uh, I was literally harvesting uh, rainwater from the roof. I had five gallon buckets, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, collecting rainwater from the uh, from the spigots or not or for the downspouts from the uh, gutters. Um, and there was at one point where I took a big pot and, uh, as you see here in the picture, uh, where I, uh, you know, put it on the gas stove and, and was melting, uh, water, uh, just so that we could, uh, collect some water enough to, to flush the toilet, uh, because there was no water going into the toilet. Uh, it was, it was quite interesting, uh, to say the least. And then when it was all over or almost over, it was found that we had a broken spigot outside, you know, uh. There was water uh, gushing. My uh, my wife called me and said, "Hey Nathan, check out the spigot. I think we got a problem." Sure enough, the spigot was broken. Now, with that said, listen, I I, I didn't experience half of the the drama or the trauma that some people experienced last week. I mean, uh, we have a friend that uh, whose pipes broke in our attic and and uh, ruined uh, everything in our house and. Uh, Here's some clips. Uh, I saw some clips, and I'll show one here in a second, of uh, or right now, of uh, a lady who parked her car underneath, you know, in the parking garage, thinking it'd be safe, but then a, 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 one of the pipes broke, and, and ice is all over her car, and let alone there's ice coming from the ceiling, you know, and, and on, on ceiling fans and, and, and everything like that, and it's it's that kind of stuff is is unexpected. I mean, who would have thought that that's what we would experience, or anyone would experience? And then right at the beginning of all this, as you know, some of, most of you know the the terrible tragedy that happened in in the Dallas area on the highway there with that that hundred car pile up. I mean, could you imagine? You know, you're going to work one day and uh, you're just doing what you normally do, and all of a sudden, you know. Uh, there's traffic is stopped, so you hit the brakes and you slide right into on right into the traffic in front of you. you. You crash into it, and I mean that's unexpected. Who would expect that? And then as you're recovering from that, something else happens. Something tragic happens. Even still, an 18 wheeler comes and crashes behind you, literally crushing your car, crushing the car next to you. I mean, absolutely tragic what we saw, and people died. That's completely unexpected. I mean, we didn't expect any of this to happen last week, and yet it did, and some people died, Either, whether on the roads or, or, or they froze in their house. I heard of animals dying and freezing in the house, uh, deer outside freezing. But the point is, 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 is that the unexpected can happen at any moment, and as I was thinking about this, and this is why I want to do the video, um, it made me think about the story in the, in the Bible where Jesus was approached by two, a couple of brothers who were arguing over an inheritance. And I believe it's, uh, you know, I'm, I got it open here in my Bible. It's Luke chapter 12. Um, and these guys, you know, want Jesus to make a decision for them. And Jesus is like, listen, I'm not the judge between you guys. Why are you coming to me? And then he goes on to tell a story about a man who was rich and he got really wealthy. He got a lot of grain and he thought to himself, what am I going to do with all my grain? I've got more than I need. And, 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 and he ultimately says, you know what? I'm going to tear down the barns that I have and I'm going to build bigger barns. And then Jesus said this. I'm just going to read this to you real quick. He said this in, 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 in verse uh, 20 about this rich man who's contemplating what he's going to do with his wealth, right? He says in verse 20, it says, but God said to him, these are the words of Jesus. He says, but God said to him, you fool, 
This very night, your life will be demanded of you. <laughs> That's just amazing that, you know, we can go about our days planning our lives. What are we going to do with our wealth? We're, 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 we're planning to retire and, and, and all that is good. We should take steps to, to be prudent and, and, and to, and to uh, 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 save for retirement. But if that's all we're living for, we can still experience the unexpected. The fact that we could get in our car to go to work and slide into traffic and have traffic slide into us, therefore ending our lives. And then we would find ourselves standing before God to give an account of our life. I mean, I think about last year, just a little over a year ago, you know, Kobe Bryant and his daughter and, and those that were with him got into a helicopter to go do what they normally did, just going back and forth to practice, going to a basketball game, going to a basketball practice from what I understand. And then who would have thought that that was the last thing that they did here on earth? And then they are, here there they are, giving their lives, giving an account for their lives. Listen, I don't know where you're at in your life. I don't know what you're, what you're dealing with. But I want you to be prepared for the unexpected. You and I are going to live this life and we're going to die at any moment. Our life is but a vapor. It can happen at any time. And then you're going to stand before God to give an account of your life. Will you make it to heaven? Are you going to make it there? That is why I'm, I'm, I'm making this video because life can snatch. So we, life can, can, can end at any moment and our life can be snatched from us at any moment. And, and I'm just, I just want you, friend, to, to understand that reality. That it's appointed once for a man to die and then the judgment. When you're judged by God according to his righteous judgment, will you end up in heaven? I know that's where you want to be. I mean, who would want to go to hell? But the only way that you can get there is not by being a good person because pe many people think I can go to heaven by being a good person. But the problem is, is that we're not good. If you're like me, you're not good. If you've lied at all, uh, like I have, I've lied plenty. That's, that means you're a liar. If you've stolen anything like I have, that means you're a thief. And Jesus said, if you look with lust, you've committed adultery. And I've looked with lust plenty of times. And if I stand before God to give an account of my life, I am guilty before him and the penalty of my crimes against a holy God is, is hell. And if you're like me, you could agree that you've done those things, if you're honest. And if you stand before God, that you would be guilty before him. And the Bible says that every liar will have their part in the lake of fire. So if that's true, we're in trouble. Where is our hope? You see, the Bible says that Jesus is the hope of our salvation. That is where we place our hope. Why would we place our hope in Jesus and no one else? He, 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 Jesus said this, that I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can come to the Father but by me. So is that true? I'm going to tell you why it is true, that there's no other way. Is because you and I broke God's laws. We have sinned against a holy God. And the only way that we can be uh, made right with God is by embracing the fact that he paid the fine on the cross. He paid your fine. He paid your debt on the cross. That is why the cross is, is relevant today. You got to put your trust in what Jesus did on the cross of Christ that you broke God's law, yet Jesus paid your fine. And, and when you do that, when you transfer your hope from yourself to him, he will save you. And then you live your life to honor him because you're grateful for what he has done, that he saved you. You're grateful for that he saved you, that he died for you. Not that you deserve it, but that he loved you, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes, whoever believes will not perish. Why would they perish? Because they haven't believed. And the fact that they've sinned against the holy God but will not perish, but have eternal life. And that's why I'm sharing this video with you, because I want you to know that God loves you. And I'm just asking you, brother, sister, to, to be prepared, because you never know when the unexpected will happen. Your heart, you're going to die of a heart attack. I know of people in their sleep at 20 years old who died because of a brain aneurysm or a, or a seizure or something, something completely unexpected. They got in their car. They died in a car wreck. The unexpected happens all the time. And, and, and when that time comes for you, are you ready? 
listen, I love you. And I just ask you to consider what I'm talking about today. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe. And don't let another day go by without considering what Christ did for you on the cross. Put your hope in him because the time is short. In Jesus' name, God bless you guys. Take care. This is Nathan. Peace out.